Hi, so my name is Mari and I am doing a presentation on Stephen Shore and how he is a leader and why he is a leader. Um, so Stephen Shore is a photographer. He has been a photographer since he was a six years old when he got his first camera. Um, he's over 70 now. So a little bit of history. Um, at 14 years old, Stephen Shore um, got his first print bought by the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art. And they are the people who get to say what is and isn't art. Um, at the age of 17, he did a series of over three years um, of, of Andy Warhol and his factory that he worked in and did his work in and all that. Um, he was always hanging out there. He was friends with Andy Warhol. Um, so that's crazy as well. Um, that's something pretty huge. Um, he knew some pretty big people. Um, at the age of 23, he became the first living photographer in over 40 years to have a color exhibit of photographs in the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, um, which again is huge. Um, so um, that exhibit was so controversial at the time because color photography was not seen as artistic or as a form of art. It was something that didn't have any meaning, essentially. No one saw it as art. So for him to do that was really, really risky. Um, so on how he is a leader. First, uh, he models the way. And how does he model the way? He dove into photography um, and color photography, especially because it was different. He knew it was different and he knew it wasn't seen as art. And he wanted to show that it could be, you know, he wanted to do something different, something that not everyone else was doing. Um, so he did, he modeled the way by doing what he thought was art, regardless of what everyone was, else was saying. He wanted to show that that's, that's something that had potential, something that really could be seen differently. Um, and Stephen Short inspired a shared vision um, because to this day, he still takes photos. He's always trying something different. He's trying to look at things in a different way that other people don't look at because he wants to show things differently. Um, he continuously reinvents himself. Every time he gets used to something or bored with something, he does something else, whether it's a new camera or a new form of art, like how he presents himself, such as Instagram. Um, he really likes the format of Instagram, not the stereotypical like famous Instagram photographers um, where they do beautiful images. It's more of like he likes the restriction of a square and he likes the the fact that you have to fit all this information into this little square uh, and that it's just, it's there and people can do what they want with it. Um, so he really, really likes that. And that was a way that he like reinvented himself or tried to learn something new, um, which inspires photographers because that's what we're trying to do. We're trying to constantly do things differently, show things differently, explain something you know, and, um, and he does that really well. And he just keeps photographing and oh, many photographers just stop because they stop being inspired and he finds ways to be inspired. Um, so, um, he challenges the process, um, or challenged the process he did and still does. So like I explained, he, really, really pushed for color photography to be taken seriously, be taken as an art form. For his exhibit, whenever he was 23 at the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, um, it said that Ansel Adams, another photographer who photographs specifically in black and white, um, and he, Ansel Adams is huge. A lot of you probably know him um, or have heard of him because of how huge of a photographer he was. Um, is said to have called the MoMA and said that 
the exhibit is an embarrassment and it should not be shown because it is not art because color photography is not art um and he was so pushy about it he wanted that exhibit not to be shown because it he thought it was an embarrassment not just to art but to the moma and anybody else who had been exhibited in the moma because it was it was an insult to them um and uh Stephen Shore was told this he was told that you know Ansel Adams called and that he thinks that it's a horrible idea and um his manager was even thinking of saying hey maybe you should pull from this exhibit and Stephen Shore said no that he has something to show and he thinks his photos have something to show that he thinks they have meaning and that he wants to continue with it if it's an embarrassment it's an embarrassment and if it's not it's not but he wants people to see something from them and uh so he did that and it was a success obviously um because he's a very famous photographer um and yeah so he challenged the process and he just pushed for it and he went for it and now color photography is seen as an art um he wasn't the only one who did it but he was one of the big factors that pushed for it and his exhibit of color photography was a huge push in the way for for that to be seen as an artistic medium, not just black and white, like the traditional or classic style. Uh, so <sighs> by doing that, he enabled others to act. Um, his exhibit or exhibits from then and ongoing um, helped tear down the rules, right? And it helped other photographers continue what they wanted to do and whether it was black and white or color photography they did whichever one they chose and you know and went with it and if they thought it was art it was art and he's he's very um particular about that about making sure that artists know that if they see something in in what they're photographing then it's important and therefore it is art regardless of what anyone else thinks you know he thought what that his color photography was art and no one else thought that but him um and obviously the moment because it showed it but <laughs> um no one else really saw that you know and he just did it and he pushed because he believed in it and that is how he enables others <laughs> to act by showing them that you know if you if you think there's something in it then it matters also <laughs> how he encourages the heart um Stephen Shore is also a professor um, and one of the things that he teaches his students is um, to better themselves by believing in what they're seeing. So essentially um, being in a state of hyper awareness, you know, so um, if you think if you if you see the world in a specific way or if you see something in a specific way because you're aware of of something that you're seeing um then then and it matters to you then it's it's important enough to take a picture of because it's something that you see as important and because you see it as important then it matters and um that's something super important because a lot of times with photographers we're thinking what what does somebody want to see what will look nice what will other people really like as a photograph versus thinking what do we see what do we want to show what what is gonna what is gonna show what i'm seeing right now and why is that important um you know we get really caught up in um trying to appease people with with what they want to see you know pretty pictures <laughs> um versus showing what we see and he encourages us to show what we see, what we think, what our heart says, um, and what we believe. And that, that is pretty amazing. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, um, some other things about Stephen Shore. Um, he recently had a show at the Museum of Modern Art, the moment which had his entire um, collection of works, which is insane because it must have been so huge um, because he has been photographing from such a young age and he's over 70 now um, 
and the exhibit was in 2018 so that's a lot of photographs um so to this day he's he still photographs um you can find him on instagram stephen shore so stephen dot shore <laughs> um that's his instagram um uh, you can find him on there and something he talks about is for photographing the ordinary or photographing um everyday things you see because you know they matter it's something you see every day um it doesn't have to be a glorious sunset like it's okay take pictures of your everyday normal clouds because that is something you see every single day that is something that is a part of your life you know and so it's something to document something you're going to remember something that has meaning um versus a beautiful sunset that you saw somewhere some time um but yeah he is an inspiration and a leader in the artistic world and i think that um he's a great example of modeling the way and leading by example um yeah <laughs>